<laughs> okay, everyone, we're here for another I Love Beer show. We are over at the Las Vegas Golf Club, and we're here with Joe Samples and our special guest, Samantha, who works here pouring us beers. Samantha, how are you doing today? I'm great. Enjoying great. my day. Very good. Joe, tell us, uh, how are you doing this week? You had a good week, huh? Oh, fantastic week. Uh, we're here back at the Las Vegas Golf Club enjoying all their fine craft beers on tap. And by the way, after 4 o'clock, you can golf 18 holes this wonderful golf course with a cart for a whopping $13. And that includes a frosty cold beer after your round. How do you beat that? Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. And, and Samantha here to attest to that because you see this all day long, right? Yes, all day long. And we're lucky because Samantha's actually working right now, so she took time out of her day to come here and talk to us about beers. She is, believe it or not, you said you were a big craft beer drinker, right? Yes, yes. Huge. Pretty much avoid anything that's not. Like, I, I don't know. If it kind of is watery, I'm not going to drink it. Right, it's got to right. be full flavored. Do you like IPAs? I love IPAs. And I believe you also said you like the, uh, the stouts too, right? Yes, uh, Old Rasputin Imperial Stout would be my favorite beer. It's pretty much a meal in a beer, but it's delicious. I looked it up, and it's like 323 calories <laughs> for one beer. Yes, yeah. but I, I don't even care. So it's not just for <laughs> breakfast anymore? No, not just for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. So now, do you, um, do you suggest uh, the craft beers that are served here at the, at the clubhouse? I do, I do. I think my favorite's probably... The Fat Tire and the Magic Hat number nine, I'd say. There you go. We're actually drinking the Fat Tire right now, so uh, yeah, that's a good selection. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and on Joe, well, you you're a, you're a, a craft beer drinker as well, obviously. Uh, what's your favorite? Well, uh, Magic Hat here. I prefer Magic Hat. Although tonight I'm going a little uh, a little Mexico with some Pacifico, starting out starting out south of the border and then working my way up. So that hopefully we can cover you know most of the western region with the craft beers tonight. And then maybe, uh, well, maybe uh, venture into Canada with some of those uh, frosty crap. It's a long night. We're here at the golf course, and uh, it, this goes on till what? Nine o'clock or, or what? Ten. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Okay, yo, we got the DJ here tonight. We're gonna hopefully interview him a little later on in the show. We've got craft beer here at the golf course. We've got a full menu too, right? Full menu. Along with some amazing cocktails as well. Yeah, full bar, full menu. You know, obviously it's gonna get dark, so you can't golf, right? I mean, if you get crazy, you can. <laughs> well, but. you know, if you have uh, day glow golf balls, you can. Now, is is there a time where they actually get people off the course? I mean, if you had glow in the dark golf balls, could you theoretically golf? You could theoretically golf, I'd say. <laughs> we need to get glow in the dark vests, though, just so we know where everyone is. You don't want to. You need extra crap beer on your cart, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and do you know what uh, what sort of beers the uh, the cart girl or cart person uh, carries around in, the, in their uh, cart? Um, yes, usually, mostly all the domestic. Sadly, there's no Magic Hat or Fat Tire, but there is Stella. We have Newcastle. We have what else? Shock Top. Nice. I don't know. Yeah, we we have some some of the more high end beers on the cart. And you you work inside the clubhouse? Or you, do you work on the golf cart as well? Are you. Yes, I get to do both. We switch it up. So okay. sometimes I'm on the card, sometimes I'm at the bar. How's your golf game? Working on it. Okay. You can't work at a golf course without working on your, yeah. your game. Right? I need to work harder. Anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. For $13 a round, I think you can get pretty good, right? <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> that is an amazing thing here. You, you golf for $13. I mean, it's just crazy. You know, you're, you're, you're teeing off after 4 o'clock. You don't even have to be a Clark County resident. It's just a phenomenal deal. That includes a cart, and when you're finished playing a round of golf or it gets dark, you get a frosty cold beer. When you finish your round? <laughs> <laughs> no, before you start. Yes. Yeah. Before you start and after you finish. You right. have to come visit us for a beer. Right, right. Uh, did, we, did we tell people where we're at? I think we, we, we're, we're at the Las Vegas Golf Club. We said that, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Could you, could you uh, give us the address? It's, it's 4300 East Washington Boulevard here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this course uh, this course has been around for quite a while. So you've got a lot of mature trees, which is a rarity in, in southern Nevada. It's a fairly wide open course. It's very hard to lose a ball. But then again, if you play like I do, it's, well, it's hard to find them. 
Yeah, trees are ninety percent air, so why do we? Why do I always hit the wood? I can't figure that out. Yeah, well, you know, we all we all play the same way. That's why we enjoy this course. We enjoy golfing, and we certainly enjoy the uh, the, the beer drinking too. Yeah, you know, I've, I've, got, I've got to say that the, the you know the food here in the clubhouse is absolutely phenomenal. We we. It's amazing. Our cook Bill is wonderful. Yeah. Can, we, can we get Bill on the show? Is he busy? You should get. I, I'll go see if Bill wants to talk. Oh, okay. Uh, you know Bill what? is amazing. Yeah. The, 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 the last time we were here, we had the ceviche. Unbelievable. The ceviche was off the hook. Then we then, it, oh then we had the uh, we, we tasted the uh, hoppers tonight, which are absolutely phenomenal. These are homemade. They're delicious. They are off the charts. Yeah. And I had the mushrooms, and they were great, too. Yeah. I got to sample all of those throughout the day today, and I was just, every time I was like, Bill, you are amazing. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Well, you know, Amanda, she, well, the first thing she did when we got here was uh, she handed us the, the menu, and, like, you know, you can't go wrong, and she's right. I'm actually you know? in the process of trying to hire Bill to come live at my house to make all my food for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's skeptical that I'll eventually get well, him. I'm, 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 and I'm, and I'm sure you know. Then you gotta get, then you gotta find a brewmaster to live in your house too. <laughs> I'm looking for one of those as well. <laughs> Good idea. It's always, always, always nice having a live-in chef. That's all good. And um, yeah, so so this is really cool. This is actually our second show that we're doing here from the golf course, from the Las Vegas Golf Club. And you know, like we said, the first an appreciation night, right? Yeah. yeah. You gotta love the fans. Customer appreciation. Right, right. So if you're, you know, if you're watching this right now, you could be watching this live right now on on uh, our our website. Come on down if you're local. You know, you, we're going till 10 o'clock. She, she said, and uh, great beer, great beer, great food, good music. We got a DJ here too. You probably can't hear it because, well, maybe you can, but uh, the DJ's playing in the background, and we're all having a really good time here. And uh, you know, you, we, you must love your life. You're living, you're, you're working at a great place like this. I love it. Right. It's probably my favorite job I've ever had. How long have you been working here for? Uh, a little over two months at this point. Oh, okay, so you're relatively new. New. How long have you been in Vegas for? Two years. From where? From Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, okay, directly from Atlanta. Well, oh, okay, a little bit of both. Well, I was in school in Kentucky for four years, and then I was back in Georgia, and then I came out here. Okay, right, that's cool. Been in the South for a little while. <laughs> And you like it here in Vegas, I guess, right? I do, I do. Very nice. Yeah, there's, there's, a little bit, there's a little bit to do here at night, right? Yeah. I like the outdoor aspects of Vegas better. Yeah. yeah. And even in Atlanta, it's got to be really, really hot there, right? With the humidity, with the summertime. You can't enjoy yourself there, can you? Take dry heat over humidity anyway. Absolutely, absolutely. And there's no mosquitoes here either. Right. Yeah, no bugs. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, honestly, Vegas is a great place to live. Your, 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 your beer is always bug-free. <laughs> no wasps, no bees, no bugs. It's just, but it, it, you know what? It does get warm rather quickly. It does. So you drink faster out here. Right. You do. Right. You right. do. You don't even realize how much you drink sometimes, right? Well, it's a dry heat, so it just permeates through your body. Yeah. Beer is almost considered Gatorade in Las Vegas. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to put that to the test tomorrow because there's an event over at the Springs Preserve. Yes. Right. And uh, tell us about that event, Joe, because I think you're going to be participating in it a little bit. Yes, yes. Uh, tomorrow, Pretzel Madness, of which uh, Tina Marie Montoya is the owner of the company, we'll be interviewing her later, will be selling her pretzel necklaces at the Springs Preserve. They have a Brews and Blues Festival. That goes from 4 to 8 o'clock tomorrow. You're going to be able to taste and sample, I think it's almost 80 craft breweries from around the United States. They're going to have all kinds of different food, and they've got great blues music. So if you're into blues, you can sit back, sway to some good blues, down a few brews. So we'll, so we're going to have like a, a, a checklist, which we're going to give Samantha. She walks in there, and she's going to check off every kind of beer that you drink there tomorrow, right? Because you're going, right? Yes, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 a, it's a great event. I would recommend getting there early. It always sells out. Maximum capacity is 2,600 people. If you've never been to the Springs Preserve, basically what it, 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 it's owned by the uh, Southern Nevada Water District. And what they did is they, 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 they built out um, the area to resemble what Las Vegas used to look like prior to development. So you've got native cacti, you've got native vegetation, you've got uh, tortoises, uh, rabbits running around, and you, you're, you're walking down these little trails, you'll, you'll, you'll come around a turn and there's a beer stand. 
Then you'll come around another turn, there's another beer stand. So it's kind of cool that, you know, you're not in a park or a concrete park.